Hey, what is going on guys? Dale619 here and we're continuing with Hitman Absolution and before I actually start, I just want to say that I got up to this part and then the game decided to crash. Well, my Xbox decided to crash, which sucks. But hey, at least we're always on a checkpoint, so we've not lost anything. Everything's great and yeah, and pretty much we're just where we left off, so everything should be good and let's hopefully see where we go. So... I'm going to do this mission and I'm going to then do the there's a mission straight after this of course because it wouldn't be no missions got to be strange um, so we're going to do this mission and we're going to do the next mission we've got to take down two of these guys which is going to be quite interesting and to be honest you only miss like probably um, like less than 30 seconds of, of what I was talking about in the last thing, so when my thing decided to cut off, that makes any sense. Sit this guy, let's kill this guy with a plunger, because why not? Because we we are that insane. Um, <laughs> pick up the fire extinguisher. Uh, what's this guy got in him? Has he got a gun? Yeah, he's got a gun. Let's take that. So, I know how to, I'm actually going to swap that. I know how to kill this guy, but it might be a little bit difficult, because you need the codes. For that, so you can hack into the thing and make the computer go. Well, I I, I nearly spoiled then what you do. I don't want to spoil what you do. That sucks. So, well, we've got to kill two guys and two scientists, should I say? Uh, let me play that. I don't know if you saw that, but like the camera shaked really, really violently. Hmm, that was a little bit weird. I, I don't know. I don't know if it was just me knowing that. Um. I'm trying to think, where is the codes for this thing we can use? I'm trying to think. Um, no, we still can't use it. We've got to kill one of the guys with that code. And the machine does something, but I'm trying to figure out where the code is. I can't seem to find it anywhere. Sucks. Oh, there it is. It was right in front of us all along. Okay. So, let me just check where... If our target is coming up here. It did it again. It, the, the, I don't know. Like, I thought, maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe I'm just somehow hallucinating. But I keep seeing things where the screen keeps like violently shaking all of a sudden. So let me just go to this thing. Okay. So our target in question is coming up right about now. I'm not too sure which target it is actually. I've got to eliminate two. Is he here? Um. Yeah, there he is. Okay. So what we're gonna do is he's gonna come over here and check out this thing and what we're gonna do we're gonna kill him so he's looking around you know come on I hope he doesn't take forever let me just move out of his way maybe he wants to um, do so yeah he does want to do something gonna throw his hammer at him and kill him because he's an idiot I'm not that would be a really really bad thing to do okay gotta wait for him come on there we go okay now he's turned off his machine and what we want to do is turn it on and it electrocutes him, which is great. Hopefully this works. Hopefully it doesn't glitch out or... Nope! He's dead. <laughs> God damn, son. What a way. Okay. Sneak past this guy. The other guy we need to eliminate is over there. So I'm going to... Is there anything in here? Uh, no. Not really. Um, Gotta be pretty careful, though. Okay, the guy... In question is the so we're gonna go in that room first of all I'm gonna sneak through all these guys because if I get spotted it's gonna be really difficult and to be honest I think we could probably do this in less than five minutes because this might be pretty easy um, I say that but you never know okay so that's how we eliminate this guy I still got quite a lot of instinct left also so we should be okay hopefully this target hurries up hopefully he does oh come on because I want to do this in the best way possible and not mess up. And I think it was the same room Victoria was in at one point in one of the cutscenes. It's a strange thing though, like we know how we have to eliminate this doctor or this scientist, whatever you want to call him, because he um, was testing on Victoria. But I don't know about the other one we've just murdered in quite a violent way. Because I did that. Like my only complaint with the game is the last mission we did, which was when when we were getting into the. Um, when we were going into the uh, 
fact to it. And this mission, like, it kind of just drags the story on too much. And it kind of... I don't know, it's kind of not really needed, to be honest. It really isn't. Like, you could have had a mission where the scientist comes with Dexter and comes with the rest of the crew. And then you could eliminate him. Instead of these... Like, these two missions just don't fit in it. But um, the next mission actually fits quite perfectly. And it's quite a good mission. Um, I'm not going to say too much about it, but... It's probably one of my favourite missions in the entire game, because it's just how it's kind of played out. This scientist needs to hurry up. Where is it? He's there. I really... He needs to hurry up, because... Why are you taking forever? Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna... Um... So if I turn this on, and he comes in this room, will it kill him automatically anyway? No, I don't think so. This sucks. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I don't want to wait. Oh my god. Really? Where is it? Oh, he's over there. God, he's taking his time. He's taking his sweet time. Since all the AI and all the enemies and everything else is on like a set path, he should hurry up. Um, I'm not too sure how long he's going to be though. Because he seems to be taking forever and it's kind of annoying. Um, is he coming over here? No. He's over there. Ah, oh. oh, right. Come on. I want to eliminate him. I don't just want to go in shooting every... You know, I could have just actually killed everyone right now. If I really wanted to. Is he coming over? I think he's coming over. Uh, if he's if he's going to go upstairs, then I'm just going to kill him. Like, because finally. God, he took forever. So if I'm like complaining and just nitpicking, but you know. Um, God, no, I don't want to attack him. Not like that, anyway. Okay, he's going to go in his machine and do... I don't know what he's doing. This is such a weird room. It's like a huge room and you've just got a random chair over there. And it's kind of a bit strange. Okay, finally we can kill him in the best way. Or can I? Oh my god, please. There we go. Okay, he's going to sit down in his comfy seat and then we're going to kill him. It's great. Come on. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Ow. <laughs> There we go. Um, I went kind of well. We've got well, we've got the shadow um, rating, which is actually really, really, really good. Okay, I think that that's not the best you can get though. Okay, we've got sixty-seven thousand points, so that's not too bad. Okay, walking past these. Oh my god, really, really, dude. I could have just. I think I could have just killed him like this also. Oh, right, that's quite clever. So it makes us a smoke. That's quite good. I'm going to call this bridge. And I think we're done with the mission now. I think so. I don't think there's another bit of this mission. I, I highly doubt it, anyway. So there's, like, say, like you can see, there's multiple ways to take down your targets. We could have used the smoke as a huge distraction and then killed him. Or we could have just brutally murdered him. Or murdered him. Or we could have just used the robot. What we did. So. I don't want that guy to see me. There's a little subtext there and I didn't get to read it. Come on. Can we get past now? Sweet. There we go. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure. This is the room Victoria was in. Yay. And then we get... And then we get, um... I think we might get a cutscene now. I'm not too sure. No, we just get his footage. Okay. Is there anything else... Oh, oh yeah, we sabotaged his machine, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure this is it. I hope so, anyway. Because this is kind of, like I said, it kind of drags on a little bit. Gotta go on this side of the room and sabotage it, come on. Now we've destroyed his machine, is that it? That's it, yeah, we've done. We've done. Finally. Ah, oh, I got it for that. That wasn't... That wasn't the longest, but here you go. 125,000 points, 32,000 seconds. Okay, that's okay. Um, and then we're done, yeah. And then we can finally get to the good, the really, really, really good bit of the game.
So this is one one of my favourite missions in the entire game, but I have to be a little bit picky. So you've got uh, should I be picky or should I just be quiet because I don't want to annoy anyone? Um no, I'm actually not gonna say it because I know someone's gonna pull Okay, fuck it, I'm gonna say it. Um First of all I'm trying to, not to get caught. Okay. So considering it's a huge factory in the middle of a desert, why is there like a million and one people watching a, a underground wrestling event? I've kind of spoiled the mission now. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it kind of really confused me for that point. It's been a little bit strange. Okay, so, if as you can probably tell, that guy was Sanchez, obviously. Um, and we're going to take him down. But first of all, I'm going to take out all these guys. So, pretty much, if I want to get the thingy rate, the good rating. Uh, give me that bomb. Okay, I'm going to have to take down quite a lot of people, actually. I'm just going to throw that over there. And detonate it. That killed three people, okay. Including the wrestler we need. Um, that probably is the worst thing I could have done. I've just noticed I have no instinct, so it's not going to be good. Um, well, I think we've eliminated the main, the main threats. Like Some of them have guns, some of them don't. Some of them just run away, so... Um, yeah, we should be okay. Oh god, where's this guy going? Um, oh my god, I'm so bad at shooting. See, this guy's going quick, 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 quick. Oh, thank god for that. There's only three guys in the area, so there's kind of, like, no threats in this area whatsoever, so. Let me reload, let me reload. Uh, so yeah, we take down these guys, I can dress up as a wrestler, and then face Sanchez, and which is a pretty cool battle. Um, but it's a pretty cool, um, it's just great, I guess. Let's take down all these guys, three guys left in the area, okay. Then they're all next to each other, also. This guy's running away, oh my god, come here. There we go. That's, our, that's every single person dead, so we take the Patriot. We're gonna take his outfit. I've no idea why a wrestler would have a, a teddy bear in this place. I mean, that's kind of a bit. I picked up the teddy bear and I. I picked up the teddy bear and, it, <laughs> and nothing happened. That's kind of a bit weird. Hmm, that's a little bit strange. I could use it as a weapon, but then I thought, why would a teddy bear. Um, do any damage to anyone. Saying that, a, a, a plunger somehow knocks someone out. Anyway, I'm talking too much. So we dress up as a wrestler and we're gonna go and face Sanchez, um, which is, like I said, a really, really good fight, but this might be a little bit difficult. No weapons beyond this point. Nope. So we're gonna trade in our guns. Don't you lose them. So here we go. Um, so we've got no guns, so the game pretty much won't you can't hit anyone either, like, I'm pressing the button to punch people. You can't do anything, you're just pretty much a normal wrestler. I have to admit, this game has extraordinary detail when it comes to, like, Hitman's body and stuff, is, is kind of... And that sounds really kind of gay, but... Um... <laughs> you kind of know what I mean, like, it's really detailed. Detailed. So here we go. It's a ton of people... Ah, oh, come on, that light. God damn it, son. Is it? I think there's three different ways to take down Sanchez, but we're going to do it in the best way possible. I say Sanchez, but I say it's Danny Trejo and Andre the Giant morphed into one person. Because it does look like Danny Trejo so much. So here we go. Like, you can, you cannot, not, you cannot say that that doesn't look like Danny Trejo. That is Danny Trejo. It seriously does look like him. <laughs> he knows who we are. He knows it. Oh god. Quick time event already. Oh man, this is going to be pretty brutal. I have no idea how he's so big, he's huge. Okay, so we're going to knock the shit out of uh, Sanchez, which is always fun. And wrestle him, which, wrestling's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, it's pretty graphic how you kill him, actually. It's pretty graphic. Hey man, pretty damn strong also, so. Okay, nearly, nearly done it. It's a really, it's quite a sharp mission, but, like I said, but it's a really, really fun mission. And, so many quick time events. Remember me. You? Impossible. Victoria, where is she? I tell you. Look over there. I can make it hurt a lot worse. Too 
was my own trouble. <laughs> you know I can't let you live. <laughs> And we've got another quick time event, so I was actually quiet for that concert. It's quite, it's kind of scary how kind of quiet I am sometimes. Anyway, we're nearly done, and I think this is it. Yep, you snap his neck, which is brutal to say the least. There we go, we've done. We put our mask back on and we get out there. We've killed Sanchez. It's great, and we've got the best rating, uh, ninety-six thousand points. We've got the silent assassin rating, which is the best one you can ever get. So let's escape from the arena. We've got to make sure to collect our silver balls, and both of them. Oh God! Um, well, I mean, that guy is suspicious because I got my guns out. I was thinking if you, if you, it would have let you just shoot anyone. It's gonna go back and shoot him. But there we go. We've done a fight night mission. So. I'm going to leave it here because I know straight after this, if I click continue, there's going to be a long cutscene. Uh, if it, oh, which mission is it now? It's a mission, it's definitely a mission I'm thinking of. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry if that was quite short. Um, but when we come back, we will be doing the next mission. I'm not going to give away what it is. Um, I'm actually going to go to the main menu and just show you the preview. Um, if it's, oh no, I know what mission it is. So we've done 13 out of 20 missions. Um, it's kind of weird looking back of all the missions we've got and gone through. That's the next mission, Attack of the Saints. That's all I'm going to say. And to kind of give a little preview of what the next few missions are, all I'm going to show is all these, and that is it. So yeah, we've only got these left, which is quite... Um, it's kind of unique to see, really. As you can see, it's a long mission because at the bottom, my highest rating is 204,000 points. So as you can see, it's quite long. Um... Well, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have an amazing day. And I hope to see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.